In the upcoming Spring Box clash, Rassi Erasmus is once again shaking things up with his bold 7-1 bench split tactic. It's a strategy that has raised eyebrows and sparked a debate ever since the box first decided to try this setup, initially in a warm-up match against the All Blacks and then on the world stage in the Rugby World Cup final against the same opponent. The epic 12-11 victory over New Zealand made this approach seem all the more daring and effective. So, it's no surprise that news of this lineup decision for the game against Scotland at Murrayfield is causing a stir. Erasmus admits that this kind of choice will always attract attention and will probably never be normalised to outsiders. After all, the idea of leaving only one back on the bench to make room for seven forwards sounds almost unthinkable to purists. We'll never, never, never probably get normalised, you know, because Lots of people are for it and against it, and, and, and uh, we as a team certainly understand it. Uh, uh, we as a team certainly understand. A guy like Frog the most that might only go 25 minutes. So, so we got the simple philosophy. Sia knows it was the captain, you know. If he's not productive and he had the kind of game where it wore him down so much and we sub him, if he started like a game, sub him in the 60th minute as the captain. Yeah, it just meant he burned his petrol in the first 60 minutes and he can't go anymore, you know. And sometimes you get a guy like uh, a Quacha who just doesn't get tired and then you're thinking, should you rather not put Peter Steff at five, keep Quacha on uh, and then bring uh, keep off Quacha at flank. So yeah, we actually look in the game. Sometimes guys are just feeling really great on the day. They're doing a hell of a lot of work and they keep on doing it. So for us, we know there's a risk and we actually talked about it this week. We actually, uh, not that we want to jinx a player at all, but we would actually love to see how it works out if three backs get injured. Because we think we're prepared for that, uh, but we haven't faced that. And we actually, somewhere we have to face that, uh, maybe not this Saturday. Uh, and I don't think we'll play again this, this last two games with a 7-1 again, because after that it's normal, normal turnarounds. The Springboks will face Scotland this Sunday and then take on a tough schedule, with England at Twickenham just six days later, ending the tour the following week in Cardiff against Wales. The question remains whether Erasmus's bold plan will secure that extra edge he imagines or if it will present unexpected challenges. Could this heavy reliance on forward power ultimately shape the game against Scotland? What do you think? Will Rassi's daring 7-1 decision work in favour of the Springboks or is it too risky? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to follow Green and Gold Army News for all the latest Springbok updates.